Well, here we are the week before Christmas and I have just put up, this is my sole decorative area in my apartment for Christmas. And I've put up my collection of nativity scenes or creches, which I have been collecting for lo these many years. These are the ones that I brought with me to Argentina. I actually had quite a lot more than this, but some of them I didn't really like very much and, I, and it was just an awful lot to cram into my box. So these are the ones I brought because these are the ones I like most. So I thought today I would just zoom in on them individually and tell you a little bit about each one. This is the one that started it all. And I think we're talking about, well, at least 20 years ago, maybe more. My friend Grace went on vacation in the summertime to some place in the US Southwest. I want to say Arizona, but I'm not 100% sure of that. Anyway, she bought this little set and kept it and gave it to me for Christmas. And I just fell in love with it. I was so enamored of the whole thing and I put it in a prominent position on my sideboard and I just loved it and so I started to look out for more. This one is actually, the figures are quite big, They're, these are individual figures, you know, you just pick them up and put them all out whichever way you want them to. So I kind of try to group them logically here. We have Mary and Joseph, we have three wise men, we have the baby Jesus, <coughs> and we've got a shepherd here with some sheep and we have an ox and an ass so um, as I say this one is big that the other ones that I've collected over the years I've tried to find small ones a because I have room for more and B because I kind of like the small ones I think this was the first one that I actually bought myself after I got the initial one from Greece and I got this one in Portugal it's very small and um, I got it in a little, I could actually take you, I think, back to the little shop where I bought this one. It's actually, it's got a hook on it, so I think it could be hung up on a tree or something, but I just have it uh, standing with the others. This one is also from Portugal. This one is made in Portugal, and as you can see, it's all completely made out of cork, which if you don't know Portugal, you might not know this, but cork is one of the major products of, of Portugal and this is it's so amazing it's the, the figures are so tiny and they're intricate detail and it came in this own little glass box so it's it's very special sorry if this is shaky but I'm trying to do it with my iPhone and it's it's a little difficult but anyway um, the, this one is one of the more recent ones and it was given to me by Grace the same one who gave me the first one and this time well, she went on a trip to Puerto Rico and this one is from there. This one I bought on one of my early visits to Argentina before I actually lived here. Caught my eye in a shop window and I had to actually look really closely to see that it was a nativity scene because it's so tiny but beautifully made. This one is also from South America, but it's not from Argentina. I think maybe Bolivia, but certainly someplace else in South America. I mean, you can see that from their costumes, the lady with the red bowler hat. It's kind of cute. This one, obviously, is not a nativity scene at all. This is a little angel, and she's a, a Christmas tree decoration. And the reason that I've kept her is that a, a very long time ago, Felix and I went on vacation. My, my brother and his wife and kids were in Canada on vacation with us, and we all went to Quebec City. And they had one of those Christmas shops. And so my sister and I, my sister-in-law and I, wanted to have a Christmas tree decoration that would be the same on both of our trees. And so this little lady has come out every year since then. And even though I don't have a tree now, I still have her with me. This one, I think, was the second one that I bought, and I got it in the same shop as I got that first one, except in Portugal, but except I got it in a different year. And I don't think it is actually Portuguese. I think it's from Mexico, but I bought it in Portugal. This is one that I bought in Canada, in Toronto. It was, at, I think it was at the Royal Winter Fair. It was some kind of big um, exhibit that was going on, and I purchased this there. It's one of my favorites. They're each, they're individual, uh, pieces and you again assemble them. I love the colors. 
This little gem is originally from Germany, but I bought it one year at my church rummage sale um, at Christmas. I wasn't at the rummage sale, but I was helping to set things up. And I ended up at the Christmas decoration uh, table and this popped up and I thought, well, I have to have this for my collection. So I paid $2 for it and here it is. The little doors close and everything. It's, uh, it's quite nicely made. This is an interesting little one. I bought it in Ecuador um, one year when I was, uh, the year that I, before I lived down here and I was coming down for the winter, but I stopped off in Ecuador to spend Christmas and New Year with my friends Susan and Michael. And this I purchased from, oh, Susan would remember what it's called, I don't remember, but it was a church high up on a hill and they had, of course, souvenir stands around it, and I picked up this little set. At first I thought it's very strange because the baby Jesus is nowhere in sight, but then I realized that Mary is actually holding him in her arms. And finally, this is one of my favorites. I got this in a little shop in, I think it's Midland. I was with Grace and her grandchildren up um, uh, spending a weekend up there and we had gone into the town, I think it's Midland, and I found this little gem in a shop there. Again, they're individual pieces and I think it's pewter. It's very, I mean, you can tell this is kind of a classy thing. It came in its own little velvet pouch and unlike all the others, this one has an angel in it. None of the rest of them have an angel, but this one does. So that's it. That is my collection, my nativities, and here they are. Even though I'm going to be away for a week, I'm going to enjoy these for a few days before I go, and I hope you enjoy them too.